Ah, achievement diaries. One of the most time consuming parts of the grind in old school RuneScape. But usually it's well worth it with some amazing rewards like the Elite Void you can get from the Hard Western Province Diaries or the ability to use the Fairy Rings without a staff from the Elite Lumbridge and Draenor Diaries. These perks really do improve the daily lives of the old school player. But the diaries we're going to be talking about today is the Hard Mauritania Diaries. The requirements for this set of diaries isn't actually that high. Uh, the, the hardest one is probably going to be 71 agility or maybe 70 prayer but in your journey out of the early to mid game you're going to be getting these stats anyway at some point but what i want to do today is test one of the rewards that you actually get from the hot from the mauritania hard diaries uh, and that's the 50 percent increase in the runes from the barrow's chests i want to see how much actual profit the reward from the hard diaries actually gives you and whether it's worth chasing the diaries first before you start bossing at barrows or whether you may as well just go straight to barrows and get the achievement diaries when you can so according to the wiki page without completing the diaries each chest is worth about 77k each um, but with the diaries it's worth 91k each so that's a 14k increase which doesn't sound a lot but if you're going to be getting 10 kills in an hour that's an extra 140k per hour uh, you're going to have grossed obviously not accounting for the supplies that you've used right so this account i'm on it hasn't completed the hard diaries just yet in fact i'm waiting for the mushrooms to grow and the watermelons to grow um, and then i will get the hard diaries uh, for it but yeah at the minute it's not completed the hard diaries so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give myself one hour plus one run count how many runs i can get in uh, i'm going to try and do them efficiently but there's no doubt there's going to be some mistakes in there because who plays efficiently 100% of the time? Definitely not me. Um, but yeah, I want it, don't want it to be quite realistic. Um, but then we're going to add up all of the loot and take away the supplies that we've used, which give us a net profit. I'm then going to repeat that. I'm going to get the same amount of kills. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter about the time limit. I'm just going to get the same amount of kills once I've completed the hard diaries. Uh, and we're going to do the same. Add up all of the loot together, take away the supplies I've used to see the profit we've made. And I'm going to see if there is a massive difference or a small difference. And like I said, see if it actually is worth chasing the diaries first. Obviously, RNG is a massive factor, but that's RuneScape. Everything's RNG pretty much. So the setup I'm going to be using, it's worth about 11 mil without the scales and the darts. Um, we've got some carriels, a uh, Netzigot face helmet thing, um, and a court necklace, a trident of the swamp, some dragon boots, a blowpipe, the runes for the trident. Um, and some untradeable bits again it doesn't really matter the, the it, what matters is the amount of kills i get in the hour i just need to match that again later on doesn't matter what gear you're wearing um it's the profits either, either going to scale up or scale down no matter what gear you're in so my inventory looks a bit like this we've got some restores or prep potions um some ranging potions a ring of dueling so i can get back to the ferox enclave after afterwards a barrow's teleport a rune pouch to store runes in a spade, a range switch, enchanted salve amulet for the skeletons, and some high level food. Each inventory is going to be worth about 50k, give or take. I am trying to keep it as cheap as possible to increase the amount of profit that I make. So now we've set up, we can get started. So this is the this is the first run. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to uh, be showing you the the running profits basically. I don't force you to have to watch every barrows kill every year, uh, every few minutes. So on the first run, we actually only got 13.2k versus an expected 77.5, which means we are at a difference of minus 64k. Uh, so yeah, not not a not a optimal start. Uh, onto the onto the second run now. which gives us a running total of 25.4k um, versus an expected 155k minus 129. Third run, we actually got a Guthans War Spear, so that boosted it up massively. So we've actually got made 455k, already three runs in. Uh, run four um, puts us to 470. Um, I actually opened the chest before I killed the um barrow's brother which is my mistake uh, however we are now at a difference of plus 160k which is really good on to run five gives us a running total of half a mil 
and a difference of 116k. Um, so yeah, the Guthin's War Spear actually really does make a big difference for this this run, uh, this set of runs. Run six gives us 539k. Uh, as you can see, the difference is now starting to get towards zero. Run seven, 564k, uh, and now we're getting close to zero again on the difference, which is at 21k. Uh, on to run eight. Uh, what I did notice was actually one of the biggest determining factors, it seemed, is the potential percentage, really. Uh, so, yeah, boosted up to 629. If you're within the 80% range, it seemed to be give you bigger drops, but I can't 100% can't guarantee that. It does say that on the wiki, but. Onto run nine there, we, we we went over the points by mistake. Uh, and onto the final run, we got 688k. Um, so yeah, the so we actually totally, we grossed a total of 688k in items we used. 510k in supplies which gave us a 178k pure profit it took me around an hour to do it um, but you know it wasn't efficient but you know, uh, I was surprised by the amount of supplies we actually used you could probably reduce that by using cheaper supplies um, but the idea behind this video is not to see the profitability it's to see if the diaries is worth it I suppose so now we've completed the diaries we're on to the first run of the of the, of the diary completed run if you like and we've got an actual of 71k versus an expected 91.1k, um, which gives a difference of uh, negative 19.9k. Again, 105k expected to be at 182k by now. On this third run, I've added a pretend Guthin's War Spear um, just so we can level up the scores at the end properly so yeah there's the pretend Guthin's War Spear just added on uh, I, I could have done it without actually including that but uh, I just chose not to so on to run 4 uh, we're at 574k actual um, expected we're actually expected 364 so we're actually over you know difference of 200k plus at the minute which is really good so in run five we made 591k grossed in total Again, you'll start to see the difference is now starting to get towards zero again. On to run six, 652k. Um, the difference of 105k. Die, 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 die. Yo, did, my, did that skeleton just disappear or just had a stroke? What? What the fuck? Okay. So onto run, uh, run seven basically. Uh, 667.7k. Nice. Uh, difference is now only 29.6k versus expected. Um, so yeah, it's starting to get towards uh, <laughs> lower than expected eighth run gives us a total of 705 in gross and now we are behind our expected 
which is unfortunate. I'm just killing a rat here to try and boost my potential up um, as much as possible. Gives us that one, gives us a 721k gross, and now we're at a difference of 100k versus what the wiki says uh, should be expected as an average. Again, on this last run, I was just trying to boost the potential up as close as good, good as possible. I went over, uh, and unfortunately, that made the total gross of 762k um, for run 10. Versus an expected 911, <laughs> so we're at minus 148k, unfortunately. Total gross is 762k for the 10 runs. Um, I did only use 388k in supplies this time around. I'm not sure why. I was probably a little bit more efficient this time around. Um, but I'm not really counting. I'm, the idea is not to count the supplies. I'm, I'm just interested in the actual increase or decrease um, in gross. So as you can see, 57 potions, quite a lot of runes, quite a few scales. You could potentially, you know, use like rune arrows or something like that. Um, to to reduce that by about 100k so on to the actual running averages so as you can see it's very it's very sparse it, on average the average run without the diaries was worth 68k and with the diaries it's worth 76k so it's only actually an 11 percent increase in run average really you, you know it doesn't seem considering the wiki says it's a 50 percent increase i expected that to be much higher you know around 30 percent maybe 35 percent obviously you can't account for you know it, it is rng but on average i would expect it to have been a bit higher than that so onto our totals um so without the diaries we grossed 688.6k um, and with the diaries, we grow 762.8k, which only gathers an increase of 10.7%, which is not a lot, um, considering the diaries are quite, I mean, I suppose you are, you are going to achieve the diaries anyway at some point, but people do suggest to get the diaries before you do barrows, and from what I've done here in this video, it doesn't seem like that's worth it at all, um, but yeah, you know, it's if, you, if you've got an account that's about to achieve the diaries, you know, test it out and let me know in the comments. See if you, see if this video reflects your experience. Because to me, I'm glad I didn't do the diaries before I tried the barrows now. Because it just seems a bit... Only for, for a 10% increase, it's not a lot, really. Uh, you, you could argue, I mean, 10% of a million is more if the if the drops were higher. But it's, it's only on the runes. So, yeah. I don't, personally, I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, that's this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a more of a data driven video, but just trying something different a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think doing the diaries is worth it. Cheers. See ya.